here in Las Vegas with all the recent news of growth and development. Tonight, we are hearing of another possible expansion, this one involving the Las Vegas monorail. The expansion would extend the monorail out to Mandalay Bay, which would be a first on the west side of the Strip. Gerard Ramallah joins us live down at Paradise and Sahara along the tracks. Gerard, this all ties into that planned global business district we've been hearing about. Well, it does, Jim. There's a transportation committee that has been formed to look at possible options. The Mandalay uh, extension is on the table, I'm told, but it is still very early. Even so, the word is getting out. A lot of people are excited about the possibility of this. Could this only be the beginning? Are we possibly going to see more stops along the monorail routes? It's been a while since we've heard of any expansion plans related to the Las Vegas monorail. But now, with the LVCVA's acquisition of the Riviera and word that the site will contain a transportation hub, monorail authorities confirm, yes, they are a part of that discussion. Absolutely. With this global business district expansion, it makes sense that we would be play a bigger role in that. And, and Las Vegas Monorail Vice President Ingrid Reisman says at least one idea has already been proposed, one that would have the monorail extend out to Mandalay Bay. Still, visitors like Rhonda Wilson here from Tampa say there's another extension that makes even more sense. Trying to come from uh, the airport to here was uh, not as so easy with the buses, but the monorail would be great. Monorail authorities confirm an extension to McCarran is also top of mind. One analyst believes our city's lack of a rail system from the airport is a major negative. It is a real killer of our tourism. It's a real problem, and it's something that produces much greater congestion because we have no alternate in transit. Until now, there has been pushback from the taxi industry, but Reisman believes there's room for everyone. We're still going to need the cabs. We're still going to need the shuttles. We're still going to need those, those, um, the rental cars. We're still going to need all of those services. And just having the option. That would be wonderful for us. <laughs> some say it would mean an overall win for Las Vegas. Now, no timetable has been set for this Mandalay expansion just yet. As for the uh, airport possibility, well, there's a lot to be considered there. I'm told that there's a ridership study. I'm told that there's a ridership study that is needed, and also um, they will need to uh, look at financing. How is this all going to be paid for? The analyst that we spoke to, uh, Professor Bob Lang, he seems to think that the airport extension will happen within the next 10 years. Reporting live, I'm Gerard Romalo, News 3. Oh.